It was the perfect venue to celebrate not only the tercentenary of the birth of Avison, but also the 250th anniversary of the death of Handel and the 350th anniversary of the birth of Purcell. This is the assembly rooms in Newcastle upon Tyne. This elegant structure was built by subscription and it was opened back in June of 1776. The Birthday Tea saw the launch of the first ever biography of Charles Avison. It's been written by these three authors working in collaboration. Ross Southey, Margaret Madison and David Hughes. They were on hand to sign copies for members of the audience. Uh, there aren't sufficient records of the 18th century still surviving. So we've had to very much approach it from all sorts of odd angles, um, through the people that he knew, and through uh, newspapers, for example, rather than being able to have diaries or letters. There are no Avison letters uh, to speak of, uh, one or two. A very good uh, organiser of concerts who then composed music because he needed music to play at his concerts and then became a nationally known composer in his day. You know, his music played all over the country. Uh, music that ordinary people could play, amateurs. They weren't, you know, they, they, were, they, they weren't difficult to, for, for people to play. And so he was widely known, quoted by uh, John Wesley in his journal and Lawrence Stern in his, in his uh, Christian Shandy. You know, he, he, was, he, was well, he, was, he was a household name in, in the upper circles. There's been no biography of Avison before at all, and such material has appeared, has just been in, generally in academic journals, which obviously is not very accessible to the general lover of music or lover of history. Well, he's well worth knowing about, because although London was the centre of everything, even in Avison's day, he's an important local composer, and Newcastle was a very important town in the 18th century. So, and you've got to bear in mind as well that his music was ideally suited for the kind of ensemble he wrote for, so it sold Absolutely. very widely throughout the country, so he wasn't just locally known, he was not Known as well. and, and he brought London style concerts to Newcastle and the rich people here, they wanted what London had. A little bit snobbish, yes. <laughs> well they were used to, used to having what London had because they all went to London for the winter season. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. they, they wanted the same so, thing when they came back to Newcastle. Yeah. And we're talking about quite well travelled people here, we the gentry are. and yeah. you know, well established yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Hello, hello. Hello, hello. This is the newest one. Yes, uh -huh. Okay, and I think you got the other one the other day. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've got the, I've got the, 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 the far one and the other the church or that. Business was brisk for both the new CD and for the book. More details can be found on the Averson website. I'm a member of the Avison Society and I have been for quite a number of years. Um, I think it's absolutely fabulous music. Everything is so wonderful about it. Very clever gentleman, born 300 years ago, and it's wonderful to have the Avison Ensemble playing his music. And now that it's all been recorded, it's going to be absolutely wonderful to be able to listen to it at any time. And I think Gordon Dixon, the founder, is an absolutely wonderful gentleman. And I understand that we're going to be able to see this now on, uh, online on the Avison TV, and uh, so that's another sort of permanent record which, uh, gosh, if he'd known what was going to happen <laughs> 
250 years on, uh, 300 years on, well, it's just wonderful really. My name's Dan, I'm from Gosworth, and I really enjoy uh, this alternative sort of music. Um, it's very different uh, to what I usually experience. My name's Stella, and it's the first time I've heard the Avisons. And um, just listening this afternoon, I felt transported back 300 years. I felt a direct connection to when the music was first made and today, and it, it moved me to tears.